Well, friends, here it is. From the gunny themselves, the new men's encapsule, thousand fill power down belay jacket from Patagonia. As you can see right there, all 100% authentic. Zoom in on that. Yep. You see that? Yeah, that shit's real. Shit's real. There it is. Patagonia men's and capsule down belay parka. Retails for six ninety nine. Weighs at just over nineteen ounces, the large on my scale. As you can see, it's a, it's actually a, what appears to be hmm, the ten denier fabric that you see on the uh, ultralight down hoodie. Uh, let me see if I can get in closer, you'll be able to see yeah, the pattern there they use. I forgot that term, but it's a uh, really just make this fabric really downproof and very, very durable. Kind of has a little North Pole motif to this thing. Uh, a few things about this jacket, it retails for six ninety nine. It's made with Patagonia's new proprietary in-capsule plasma-coated uh, down waterproofing technology. Um, and I have to say, personally, for a jacket that's seven hundred dollars, it's missing a few things. Like if you look very closely, uh, zipper garages on the outer chest pocket, right, or even on the hand warmer pockets, right. And unfortunately, I can't get these zippers to zip up any more fully, right. So you can see snow will get in there, or some sort of precipitation would get in there, and uh, get stuff in your pockets wet. Kind of a downer, Patagonia, and actually the biggest downer as well, uh, besides the uh, 699 price tag, is this thing right here. You can see it's made in China, which, uh, I mean, yeah, a lot of goods are made in China nowadays, but uh, a $699 limited edition Patagonia jacket probably shouldn't be made in China, in my humble, rather uneducated opinion. Comes with two... <clears throat> mesh pockets here, kind of like the DOS, but they're closer to you on your side, so it seems a little bit warmer. comes with this really handy Michael Jackson-esque stuff sack. It's pretty darn small, actually, the stuff sack. You'll see the jacket must really compress down. And, and uh, as you, I don't know if you can see this, it's actually made with somewhat translucent material. Pretty cool. Probably the same material that's made, the jacket, the, excuse me, the same material that the jacket is lined with. You can see the down shows through. On the other side, <clears throat> you have another one of these pockets here, and it also says the uh, the number of your jacket. I guess there's only like a limited number of these jackets made. Um, so yes, I will tell you this: this jacket is freaking, freaking lofty. I mean, uh, it is just it is super darn lofty. Just got just took it out of the bag. Um, it is just chock full of down. Uh, almost to the point where the down seems to almost want to clump together. It's chocked so full of down. Um, the hand warmer pockets. The zipper is pretty nice. I really like the zippers. The hand warmer pockets are unlined. Um, they're also, uh, as in the sense, they don't have like fleece on them. But they do have this cool space fabric. The cuffs, very interesting. Just straight stuffed like crazy. As you can see, just like. But the elastics are right there, so um, kind of a less pronounced cuff. You definitely look like I don't know your hands are going to be or your wrist is going to be pretty warm in this thing. It already feels loftier than my Fitzroy, which uh, I'll show you shortly. Which might not be saying much considering the Fitzroy doesn't have that much down for how much it weighs. You can see here, you can see the tag. Patagonia is really marketing their encapsule really big. Um, 
Yeah, it's a proprietary pl uh, plasma process that safely and dramatically increases Down's loft warmth th for weight, strength, and water resistance with a clean and virtual permanent treatment. Interesting to see how many uses. Uh, yeah, so they have like the retro Patagonia tags here and like on the chest. The jacket also has two hem cinch cords on the side, right? The toggles. You have one here as well underneath. Um, and really, my, probably my favorite part about this jacket, though, um, it actually doesn't have, this is a shame, it doesn't have any fleece on the inside of any of these, either. Hmm, my Fitzroy has that. Even my Montbell has that as well. This awesome draw cord hood that they rock with the down sweater, the new upcoming DOS, the Fitzroy. I mean, this thing, one of the best hoods around, I think. So, uh, yeah, here's just the initial review um, let me show it to you what we'll put on. So for size, um, it's a size large. As you can see, it's a very, very puffy jacket. I'm about six foot one and like 190 pounds. I'm not super slim by any means. I'm wearing an R1 pullover and like a small, like, cotton t-shirt underneath. Um, I'm actually wearing, rocking the R1 in extra large because I just find it's more, a little more comfortable that way. But this jacket definitely goes low enough to cover your bum. Has a nice little uh, piece of uh, fabric, a uh, fabric stiffening uh, zipper flap. It's down filled insulation tube as well. This jacket is super, super puffy. It's uh, definitely, definitely a Michelin Man jacket. Uh, the hood zips up. Well, looks like it's a little stiffy. Wow. A little finicky, unfortunately. But, there you go. Hood comes up to your face. Excuse me, the neck comes up to your face. Provide, there seems to be more insulation around your, the neck um, than the Fitzroy. Definitely warmer. The hood is great. Uh, definitely seems to be helmet compatible. Uh, not exactly ski helmet, but definitely climbing helmet compatible. Um, and it has that cool little adjustment draw thing back here. Tightens the whole thing down. This jacket is an incredibly, incredibly lofty jacket. I, I don't know if I've ever actually... Yeah, I have. It's like as puffy as like a... Puffy is like, you know, some of the more super puffies. The, uh, the pockets here on the inside, you can see the mesh pockets, they're kind of like more towards like your, uh, your obliques, as opposed to up here in the front. That's probably to maximize heat retention. I don't know. I'm not one of Patagonia's designers. Um, but it's a definitely like a pretty nice, it's like a nice jacket. Quite frankly, for $700, I think it's like a huge ripoff. Jacket doesn't have a lot of like basic stuff. Uh, for minimalists, I'm sure you know you'd love it. This is gonna be a super super warm minimalist jacket. Uh, it's relatively lightweight, 19 ounces. Definitely, definitely a lot warmer than the Fitzroy jacket. Definitely, uh, definitely warmer than the Das Parka. Very interest, very interested to hear exactly how many grams of this uh, new thousand fill power down that they're using. Uh, to ch fill this jacket with, because uh, it would help determine some things. Also, I should mention the jacket is fully baffled. Um, pictures initially made it seem like it's uh, it's sewn through, but it appears that I don't believe that it is. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, it does appear. Let me pull out the Fitzroy. Patagonia is like super puff. Comparing the two together, yeah, they're both they're both baffled. With the uh, I'll show you right here, in just a moment. The Fitzroy is baffling compared to the uh, the new Encapsule Down Belay. Okay, so here's the Fitzroy next in the large next to the down belay parka. 
Um, you'll notice a lot of similarities. Um, one is that they're both pretty puffy jackets. Uh, I don't know if you can tell exactly, but there's definitely, definitely more loft to, uh, actually, I don't know. What'd you all have to say about that, huh? Seems like this is definitely more, you know, is filled with a lot more down, you know? Whereas the Fitzroy, there's a lot more to, like, I don't know. This definitely has more down than the Fitzroy. Most definitely. It's a lot more uh, firm of a jacket, right? Whereas the Fitzroy seems like, you know, it's a little more like plush, if that makes sense. Uh, and to my mistake earlier when I was posting online, it does not have the same zippered setup as the Fitzroy. The Fitzroy has the internal zippered pocket and the one mesh actually up here in the front, whereas the, uh, the down belay just has the two mesh close to the obliques. Very interested to see how this jacket's going to hold to the elements. Uh, interesting with the D, how the DWR is set up. Um, yeah, and I'm also interested to see how this hood is going to be. Just really, my initial impressions are that this is going to sell pretty quick just for these, like, Aspenites. But to be honest with you, the jacket as a whole, for the value you're getting, doesn't seem to be all that spectacular. Um, for a jacket that's to be out in the elements, I'm really disappointed not to see any sort of zipper garages. I, again, you know, could be wrong in thinking that this matters, but... Um, this is like as firm as it goes up there. I don't know. Kind of sucks. And then one, I mean, what the seven hundred dollar price tag? Kind of a kind of a shocker. But the fact, the biggest surprise is that this jacket's made in China. I mean, for seven hundred dollars, perhaps we could get something made here in the states, or even Vietnam, somewhere that has pretty good QA and QC. So, is it warmer than the Fitzroy? Probably. Definitely. Is it worth $700? Probably not. We're going to have to test it out outside. But, uh, we'll definitely, let, definitely be keeping you guys updated. And, um, yeah. Supposedly this jacket goes on sale March 1st. It's uh, January 8th, I believe, today, the 9th. So, looks like that's not the case. Once again, I'll show you the loft of the jacket real quick. You can see, you know, that's about a good 3-4 inches. The jacket is significantly lighter than the Fitzroy. Yeah, definitely... Definitely, definitely lighter than the Fitzroy. Shame it doesn't have the nice little things like the the fleece in the pockets or in the face right here. I love the fleece in the face because otherwise I just fray the collars because of my stubble. Alright, well we'll be back with the actual tested product review. Let us know your feedbacks, thoughts at uh, thedopeststuff.com or yeah, the dopest stuff at me dot com. Email me. You can find me at Snowbird Steez on YouTube. Subscribe. It's legit. Oh, this is actually pretty neat. I just noticed this. This interesting little zipper molding here for uh down capsule. I don't know. Seems pretty cool.